So he, Jermaine Jackson, bitch ass. So anyway, remember when Jermaine Jackson and Whitney Houston did a duet? If you say my eyes are beautiful, eh, eh, eh. Okay? Now, Jermaine only wanted Whitney. So she round there with him in the studios. Okay? Robin's still back home. Chilling. Slash don't really know what the hell is going on with Whitney and Jermaine. But, you know, they friends now. So she really shouldn't be bothered anymore. Robin figured out what the hell happened when Whitney got back home. Okay? Whitney wouldn't go nowhere. She didn't, she wouldn't do shite. All she wanted to do was wait in the house and wait for Jermaine to call her. That melted hair helmet having ass nigga. She knows that Whitney was down there with Jermaine Jackson getting a pickle. Now I remember he was married to Hazel Gordy, but you know, different nigga, same lie. Child, Robin figured out that she was down there fucking Jermaine. Okay? Whitney was honest with her. Whitney was like, yeah, I was fucking Jermaine. Robin was like, you know that nigga married, right? You know he married to Hazel, you know, Gordy. But different nigga, same lie. I'm not happy. Me and Hazel about to break up. Let's have this information. Robin was like, well, what was Jermaine like? She said his hair was hard. I said, hard? That shit was hard back then? She said it was real hard. Whitney said, why you do that to your hair? Jermaine said... Because uh, Michael gave it to me. Michael gave you this shit? What was that? Was it a lot of body? Was it a lot of body? Was niggas putting a lot of bodies in their hair? Because you know that lot of body shit made your hair real hard. But she said she hated his hair. She loved everything else. Until she found out that he wasn't shit. So Jermaine so, called finally, you know, burly. And said, oh, Whitney, um, we're going to be in Madison Square Gardens on the Jackson's tour. Oh, they was excited. Even Rob was excited to see Michael Jackson. Child, but guess what? That ninja threw her in the trick bag. He ain't called her back. He ain't sent her no tickets. He ain't do nothing. Robin found her a good piece of nugget. I was really surprised when Robin um, decided to date a man. Now, I don't know if she was doing that out of fi her feelings. I don't know. But in the beginning of the book, she made it very clear. She liked beautiful things. And sometimes the beautiful things came in a package of a man. And sometimes they came in a package of a woman. She had to get her old job because her mammy was like, okay, I'll let you back in this house after you was homeless for three and a half weeks, but you better get you a job. So she was old, you know, a uh, baggage carrier person down to Piedmont Air Airlines. But a pilot was like, I'm interested in you, Robin, was popping. Now, what she wasn't going to do was make the same mistake that Whitney did and hunt around on a married man, okay? But... She met up with the guy, had lunch with him, you know. He was like, yeah, I'm married with about 87 kids. Not really. How many kids? Two children. And she was like, no, uh-uh, I'm not sleeping with no married men. That she just gave him a kiss and told him bye-bye. Now, if you have not already done so, please... Remember to like and share this video because it is so important to my success here on the YouTube. Now, remember this. The same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people that you meet on the way down. Naysayers, my patron loves. Have a good one. Deuce. Ooh.